multiplying decimals practice. Here we have 3.7 times 5. Ignore the decimal point as you're working with this problem, so think about 37 times 5 to begin with. 5 times 7 is 35. 5, place the 3, and regroup that 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So 37 times 5 is 185. Now placing that decimal point, since there is one decimal place within the product there, with those two numbers, for our answer, we have one decimal place as well, 18.5. Here we have 6.3 times 7. Think of 63 times 7 to begin with. 7 times 3 is 21. 1, regroup the 2. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. One decimal place here means one decimal place within our answer as well. 44.1. We're just multiplying by a whole number. Seven point six two times three. We'll start with the three times the two, which is six. Three times six, which is eighteen. Eight, regroup the one. And three times seven, which is twenty-one, plus one, which is twenty-two. Placing our decimal point two decimal places here by a whole number, two decimal places within our answer, one and two, 22.86. Reasonable, yes, because 7.62 nearest whole number would be eight, and eight times three is 24. So we know that we've placed our decimal point in the right spot. 9.45 times 7, starting with 7 times 5, which is 35, 5 regroup the 3, 7 times 4, which is 28, plus 3, which is 31, 1 regroup the 3, 7 times 9, which is 63, plus 3, which is 66, two decimal places, two decimal places for my answer as well. Again, thinking of this, for our check for decimal place, 9 times 7 is 63. Yep, answer is reasonable. Here we have 5.8 times 2.3. And then so really we just think of 58 times 23. And then we'll go ahead and work with our decimal places. So 3 times 8 is 24, 4, regroup the 2, 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 2, which is 17, and I'll cross out that regroup. Now I'm working with that 2, and that 2 is worth 20, so I place a 0, 2 times 8, which is 16, 6, regroup the 1, 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 1, which is 11, and then I add those numbers together. Four, three, one, three, one. Placing my decimal point, one decimal place, two decimal places within my two factors there. So within my answer, there should be two decimal places, one and two. So my answer is 13.34, 13 and 34 hundredths. 6 and 8 tenths times 4 and 5 tenths. Again, think of 68 times 45. Then we will place our decimal point. 5 times 8 is 40. 0, regroup the 4. 5 times 6, which is 30, plus 4, which is 34. Cross out our regroup. That 4 is worth 40. That's why you place a 0. 4 times 8, which is 32. 2, regroup the 3. 4 times 6, which is 24, plus 3, which is 27, 
and then we can add those two numbers together. 3 plus 7 is 10, 0, regroup the 1, 3. Two decimal places, two decimal places. 30.60, 30 and 60 hundredths. That's the product of 6 and 8 tenths and 4 and 5 tenths. Here we have 9.62 times 0 0.38. Really think of that product of 962 times 38. That's what we're thinking about. Do not worry about the decimal point until um, we're ready for our final answer. We'll start with the 8. 8 times 2, which is 16. 6, regroup the 1. 8 times 6, which is 48, plus 1, which is 49. 9, regroup the 4. 8 times 9, which is 72, plus 4, which is 76. Cross out our regroups. Now working with that 3, that 3 is worth 30, so we place a 0. 3 times 2, which is 6. 3 times 6, which is 18. 8, regroup the 1. 3 times 9, which is 27, plus 1, which is 28. And then add those two numbers together. 6, 5, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 point six five five. Six. is our answer. All right, final problem, 5.78 times 0 0.8. We'll start with that 8 and go 8 times 8, which is 64. 4, regroup the 6. 8 times 7, which is 56, plus 6, which is 62. 2, regroup the 6. 8 times 5, which is 40, plus 6, which is 46. And then work with the decimal points in places 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3. Makes sense if I rounded both. This would be 6, this would be 1. 6 times 1 is 6. That's the nearest whole number. The big part with multiplying decimal numbers is placing that decimal point.